Barrett is waiting on his inside, and Barrett gets it. So too does Brian Fletcher. Opened up slightly for Fletcher. Good tackle, though, down by Mark Edmondson. There's got to be some angle running now. Sean O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin taking it on himself. He will play the ball to Gareth Hock. Hock to Lunawai. Lunawai to Millard. Good defence from Salford again. They were pierced virtually every time Bradford were on their line last week. And this is Gareth Hock, and again they stand fair. Well, Leeds are walking away with it against Wakefield. This is Lulawai, and Lulawai trips the kick in. A horrible bounce, and that's Chris Ashton for Wigan. It was a shocking bounce. And now that's begin to go to the video referee Salford for some reason. Maybe thinking he's offside, or maybe there was a push. The referee has given it, though, and Chris Ashton gets the four points. And it all came about by that silly penalty given away by the pro forward, Michael Corkinas. And it just shows you at this level, you've got to make sure that you use your brains. This young fullback has certainly done that. Was there interference? That's what the Salford side was screaming about. Good kick from Lulawai, look how it bounced. Ricochet, no, barely a push. You can't say that was interference. There's more contact with his own player, Phil Bailey, than what this is. No, that was pat cake, nothing in it at all. Well, Jordan Turner will believe he's been pushed out of the way by Chris Ashton, and that's why Luke Robinson was annoyed. You amaze me, the, the hours that you put into reading this uh, rule book. I, I get stunned from time to time. Well, it's about as long as I think that you put in, Steve-O, and I must compliment you here on the hours you spend spinning through the tapes and looking for all the incidents that you can refer to in commentary each and every week. It has to be done. Someone's got to do it. Oh, what a run! Great run from Pally. And they were strong enough as well. Edmondson put himself in the middle. Hold! Hold! Miller, the dummy half. Fielden's the runner. Two. They just it. Have, uh, I've got the sniff of something Go. here. Millard. O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin. Great, Great try from Sean O'Loughlin. The Wigan skipper. That's a fantastic try. And you could tell then in that set of six, Wigan, they pushed the foot down on the gas. They upped the ante and Salford. Frankly, they might have run out of steam themselves here because they had no answer to the power, first of Fielden and then of that run from Sean O'Loughlin. Try for Wigan underneath the sticks. Wigan stretch the lead. It's 14 points to two. Tremendous play from Millard. All came about by the mistake from the fullback, David Hodgson. And they got themselves in a good position. Watch Millard. One dummy there, back on the inside. And this is sheer upper body strength. That is incredible. He's had a top game as a Wigan skipper. He beats three with sheer upper body strength. Shane Millard, down. since he came off the bench, he just calmed things Move. down. And with a 16-2 lead now, he knows when to just close shop. Well, he has, and he has calmed it down, and he, he has maybe a steadying oh. influence, but they do miss a little bit of the zip from Mickey Hyam, don't they? Here comes Bailey, that's a ball to Barrett. Oh. To Ashton. That. And that's to Calderwood. And Calderwood will score for Wigan and they can't go to video referees for forward passes. Kevin McGuinness asks Steve Johnson to, but there's no point because the video referee cannot adjudge on forward passes. So Calderwood will pick up his third try of the campaign. And Wigan are starting to turn the screw now. Tremendous play though, it fully deserved a try. There's a certainly a doubt about two of those passes, but the build-up was superb. Silky skills have been working that short blind side. Oh, that was good work there from Phil Bailey. He's taking the time to settle in. That was definitely forward, no momentum. And there wasn't much uh, doubt about that in my mind. And that just drifted forward too. You can hear the boos from the Salford fans. But it's good work from Barrett. And then Bailey, good support, juggled it. It deserved a try, didn't it? But to me, Calderwood had overrun the fullback Ashton. It's on the board. There's nothing they can do about it. That's all right. That one. 
That's forward. And so is that. Two forwards. Not much good at maths. Last tackle here for Wigan. Millard again. One point. Back to Barrett. Drop goal. Yes. Trent Barrett adds the extra one. 25 points to two. I don't know whose decision it was, Eddie, to sign Trent Barrett for Wigan, but I think it was the best recruitment decision they've made in the last decade. If Wigan are to be successful this year, it'll be on the back of what Trent Barrett gives them. They've got some good players across the field, they'll have to play their part, but he can be the difference between success and failure at Wigan this year. Robinson gets away from one, nearly gets away from two, out the back door, picked up again. Calderwood harassing him, but it's Coley, and it's wide, and this is McGuinness, and McGuinness will score. A victory for the Wigan Warriors here at the Willows by 25 points to six. And they're in the top six. Their captain is Sean O'Loughlin. He's talking to B.